I'm James Bland. I am the writer, creator, director, executive producer, and star of Giants. Many hats. <laughs> we start the pilot episode with an action sequence that was shot over multiple days. Initially, I had my buddy Ota Anderson come out and we did somewhat of a test shoot. Um, and we actually ended up using some of those shots. And then I was like, all right, I'm gonna uh, get my friend Mike. And then Mike came out and we shot most of the roof scene. And we got kicked off the roof because we were actually running on top of people's apartments. But we was like, yo, we gotta finish, you know, getting these shots. And so we left and we came back another day. About six months later, I met a guy with a drone and he and I went back to the original location and shot the area view footage. So this one minute opening scene took four days over six months to shoot. My name is Vanessa Baden-Kelly, and I play the role of Journey in Giant. Journey is probably one of the favorite characters that I've played in my adult life. When I first got the script for Journey, I called James like, nigga, <laughs> you just wrote a story that actually happened when Journey uh, pops in and says, hey, I couldn't make it to work today. I couldn't stop my car. That really happened. I popped up at James's house after I had this terrible job where I was standing on street corners trying to sign people up to sponsor children in Africa. And I went to the job one day and I came back to James's house. He's like, the hell you doing here? You're supposed to be at work. I was like, I couldn't do it, man. I couldn't stop the car. Hold on, Journey, what? At the top of the episode, we learn that Malachi is looking for gigs on Craigslist and he takes a job posing new for an artist. What we didn't tell you in the episode is how he got to this place. There was actually a scene that I ended up cutting out of the first episode where Malachi is talking to the artist and as she paints, she inquires to how he got to this place. What brought you to LA? And we learned that he was working a corporate job and he just felt empty. He felt literally like something had fallen off a shelf inside of him. So he quit his job and he made the decision to move west because he always wanted to live on the west coast. And so in the first episode, we find him uh, at the point where he's run through his savings, he's out of money, and he's still trying to figure out what it is he wants to do. I could be, I could be shot at any point because I'm black, because I'm tall, because I'm 6'5", because I look like a threat. So what does that mean for me? Where are my rights? Where, where, where's the justice for me in any of that? I wrote this episode in 2014, and in that year, Tamir Rice was shot in Cleveland, Eric Gardner was choked to death in New York, and Mike Brown's killer was acquitted in Ferguson. I was, I was frustrated, honestly, I was mad as hell. Like many of us uh, during these times, you know, being black, you, you definitely feel like it could be you or it could have been your family. And I wanted to just find a way to say how I felt, so to voice my opinion. Um, and really that's what Giants is. This entire series is just what I have to say. The hardest scene that I had to play for Journey was when she apologizes to Malachi for not being able to make rent this month and, and just saying that she couldn't win her day. It was interesting for somebody like myself who's had to explain it to really come get to the bottom of it and be like, oh man, this is why. This is why I make the decision to not cry even though I'm fighting it back or this is why I make certain decisions to cry or to get angry. and having to filter it through Journey's experience and not necessarily through Vanessa's was also really challenging as well. My name's Takara and I am a producer on Giants. What I love most about Giants is that it's so real. It's like three young African-American people who are going through their own struggles and I think everyone can identify with that. Journey was really near and dear to my heart in that Journey uh, struggles with depression which is something that I've been very open with. We get the opportunity to see the dynamic of Journey and Malachi's relationship and we get to see that he literally has to pull her out of bed and, and get her going. He's her, he's her rock in a sense and he's that person in her life that really believes in her, but uh, he's that one who has to give her that nudge and give her that push. I feel like this story will really resonate with the audience because even if you don't want to admit it, everyone has some degree of anxiety. Everyone has some degree of depression that they've gone through. Hey, I'm Sean Samuels. I play Ade. Uh, Ade, he grew up with his father who wanted him to be a certain way and, and pressed upon him his idea of what he wanted his son to be. And Ade grew up with that in mind, but like a lot of artists, decided to become his own person. The thing that I really wanted people to 
connect with because I know personally, my degree is in business. I didn't go to film school. And I discovered while I was in college that I wanted to be a filmmaker. And so I made the decision immediately after college that I was going to uh, pursue this dream, that I was going to pursue this passion, that I was going to pursue art. But I know a ton of people who don't make that decision. They go to grad school. And for a lot of us, it's a backup plan. It's something to fall back on. And then there's others who are going to get degrees because that's what their parents want for them. A day really does that to please his, his father, but he finally gets to the place in his life where he realizes he has to live for himself. My favorite scene is when Journey and Malachi are sitting on the couch, we're just watching TV, and I come in from a long day, and you can just see and feel our long days, separately, but collectively. It just showed the relationship in, the, in a way where I think was so vital. What's happening to Malachi in the spirit is beginning to catch up with him in the physical. And we see that in the end when he falls asleep and he's having this dream and he dives in the water and he can't breathe. And so what I wanted to show as a writer is that what's happening in your mind will eventually manifest in the physical if you don't address it if you don't take care of it, it's gonna come back up. And then also when you have a strong purpose and for anybody who has a calling or a purpose on their life, you'll know that you cannot run from it. So you gotta tune in to episode two to find out what happens to Malachi.